hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to load default values for a one to many field in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 12 community edition where we have installed our odoo development tutorials module that is om hospital module so in this database if i go to the hospital menu and then to the appointments and if i open this view here you can see we have got if I open the form view, here you can see we have got a one to many field here that is doctor prescription with two fields that is medicine and quantity. So let's see how we can load a default value into this one to many field that is while opening the form we will have some default values inside this list. So you know this is a many to one field. So medicine is a many to one field to the product and the quantity is a normal integer field like this or no integer field or character field so let's see how we can load default value into a one to many field so in a, one of our earlier videos we have already shown you the use of default get function so you will be noticed that if i open the form so if i close this record and if i click on the create button you can see we are getting a default value that is patient is coming by default as well as the registration note is coming as the default value so that's we have already done using the default get function so if i go to the pie charm and if i take the corresponding module so here you can see i have already opened that code so this is my custom add-on path that is custom and inside that we have got om hospital module so yet if you haven't got this module you can just get it from the odoo app store or you can just go to our github repository and download this module or you can just if you need you can just connect us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com so in this inside this module if i go to the models folder here we have got appointment.py file so inside this appointment.py file here we have already defined a function called default get so what you have to do is diff default get so this function will get called while loading any models like it's a form or something so default get function and inside this default get function you can see i have super it that is rest equal to super oh, i think you already know that we have already explained it and here you can see rest of nodes to the nodes i have passed a default value like that like and subscribe channel and just uh, let's change something test i'll just uh, change the string that is i have just added a test at the last so i'll just restart the service to just ensure you that this function is working so right now while we have loaded we are get like like and subscribe our channel inside the registration node so once we reload it will be changed to test at the last so let's see what happens so you can see the form is getting reloaded so once reloaded the test will also get added inside the node here you can see that registration node has been get updated that is test has been also get updated so we will load the default value to the one to many field using this function so what i will do is that i will just comment this I'm not going to add this inside this or I will just continue inside this function itself. So here I have for the testing purpose of making the video I have already tried this. So I'll just do one thing. I'll copy the lines that I have tried here and I'll put it inside the function that we have already created. So I'll paste it here and what I will do is that I'll just remove this function from here. So we'll have only one default get function. So we have added few lines here. So I'll just come to it and I will explain it. So let me arrange first. So let me arrange code first and I'll put it comma. So put a comma here. So let me move these values patient ID here. Patient ID. I'm updating the dictionary as at one one time. So nodes equal to rather than assigning single values, we can assign at once, all at once. So I'll give it here. So we can just remove these values from here. So what we have done is we have the intention of this video is while we are loading this form that is while we are loading the appointments form we need to get all the products in the database as by default in the doctor prescription tab so right now you can see the one to many field is coming as empty so once we done the code it will be like this that is all the products here will be get loaded by default that is in first column it will be there in the second column next product will be there like that it will be filled by all the products so let's see how we can do that so if i go to the pie charm and here you can see this is the extra codes that i have added right now so first of all i have initialized a list with passing 5 comma as a tuple 5 comma 0 0 that is this tuple will remove all the existing values from the list so you know already i have already created a video on how to delete uh, lines from the one to many field and in that video i have explained the use of this 5 comma 0 comma 0 so i have initialized appointment lines which is a list with a tuple 5 comma 0 comma 0 then 
using the search method i have searched inside the product dot product master to get all the records inside the product table so product rec equal to self dot env product dot product so i am searching inside the product master that is this is the table name of the product and dot search without any domain so i am searching all the products and next thing you can see i am iterating this over a for loop so i will just iterate each one by one so for pro in product dot rec and i am assigning creating a tuple like line equal to 0 comma 0 and inside that i have as i'm creating a dictionary so the format that you have to follow is line equal to 0 comma 0 inside a dictionary you have to specify which all fields so in our case if i go to the ui and if i activate the debug mode so i'll just use this uh, debug mode extension to activate the debug mode and if i place the mouse over here so if i place the mouse over here you can see the field name is appointment underscore lines so if i check for the corresponding field inside this model so here you have the corresponding one to many field that is appointment lines equal to fields dot one to many hospital dot appointment lines so this is the core model which i have already so the core model of this one to many field is hospital dot appointment lines which i have defined here so inside this so this is the model that we are seeing here that is this is the core model that is hospital dot appointment lines and inside this we have got four fields that is product id product quantity with this of which is of integer field sequence and appointment ID, which is a relational field so we are going to fill values into these two fields that is product id and product quantity so you can see we are going to fill the values into product id so if you come here the field name of this that is medicine it is field name is product id and this field name is product underscore quantity so we are going to fill values into these two fields so if we come back to the default get function that we are writing inside this line you can see i am assigning i am creating a dictionary and you have to specify the correct field names so i am going to write to the product id field i am giving pro dot id the id coming over the for loop and to the product quantity i will give you the quantity as a static one or like one or two you can give as per your logic and etc so i have given the product quantity as one as a hard coded value so i have created a tuple here and after this i have appended this tuple into the list the list we have already created that is appointment lines appointment lines dot append offline so this is the code that we have added right now so initially we have defined a list and there is no need to pass this default value you can just remove it or keep it as such so let it be empty list appointment lines equal to empty list we have initialized a dictionary and we have searched all the products using self dot env product dot product search and then we are iterating the the product array over a for loop to get one by one record and i have created a tuple that is format is 0 comma 0 and a dictionary and dictionary should contain the values we have to write that is product id pro dot id and product quantity i have had quarterly given as one and i have appended this tuple into the list that we have created so once the for loop iteration is completed we have to update the res so res dot update so what res, res is super of the default get function that we have done here so res equal to super of hospital dot appointment is the class name so here you can see if i scroll up my current class name is if i scroll up here you can see this is the class name hospital dot appointment so you have to copy the class name and you have to paste it here where is our default get function you have to paste it here super of class name comma self dot function name and then you have to pass the arguments that is fields that is rs so i have updated the rs rs dot appointment lines so the one to many field name is appointment lines so i have copied that and i have pasted it here and i have passed the list that i have created here appointment lines here then the patient id so the default values that we have already done so the for the patient id i have passed that record as one static value so this method is not recommended to hard coded things just for the illustration purpose i am giving the patient id as one and to the notes i have given the value as like and subscribe our channel to get notified so let me update the string to get notified so there is a spelling mistake to get notified so i just updated it so if you haven't watched subscribe the channel you can just subscribe the channel and get notified regarding all the upcoming videos so i have updated the string so that's done we have defined the default get function so let's restart the service as we have made changes inside the python code so once you made changes inside the python code don't forget to restart the service to ensure that the changes will come there so we have done now we will go to the ui and let me go back to the appointments tree view so we have done all the codings and let's see what happens while creating a new record so i'll come to the tree view and from the tree view if i click on the create button 
and if I scroll down you can see all the products are loaded by default inside the one to many field which is from our code so that's all about how we can load default value into the one to many field using the default grid function so if you have any queries or doubts you can just directly contact us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com or you can connect us over the social medias like linkedin twitter and facebook we are always happy to help you and we welcome all your suggestions feedback and everything you can just drop an email to odomates at gmail.com and that's for all for this video and if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos thank you